Good morning, folks. Today we've got space weather, earth weather, a much needed reality check, new tools from NASA's EYES program, and a new sunspot coming in. We begin over at spaceweathernews.com and check out the last 24 hours on our star. Not much eruptive activity, no solar flares. Over on the left side, though, north of the equator, those are bright magnetic fields of an incoming sunspot. We actually had one born on the outgoing as well. Used to be the northern coronal hole extension. Now it's a sunspot. Solar wind shows decreasing intensity as purple. The speed is falling and Earth's magnetic shield is calm with no cosmic energy health alerts. Let's use stereo to look at what's incoming next on our star. Zero faces Earth here. So let's spin around and see the northern coronal hole and a bright sunspot sidekick are just about at the limb now. North of that bright area we already saw over on the left side where the sunspot magnetic fields are coming in, watch the dark of the coronal hole begin cresting over the limb into view. It is worth noting additionally that the central opening, which I figured was part of the departing southern fields, is actually a transequatorial leading extension of the northern opening according to Gong. Next, we're looking at the NASA Eyes program and the Juno sequences. Not only can you see where it's been and how it got there and where it's going, but you can toggle a number of features like rings, radiation belts, magnetic fields, etc. Link is posted for you below. Folks, it's time for a serious reality check and furious comment responses, I'm sure. About this galactic wave coming on December 26th, well, welcome to veterans' fourth time hearing this nonsense. 2010, 2012, 2014, and now again in 2016. Since if you are ensnared by those stories, there is nothing any of us can say to sway you, feel free to worry about it, and on December 27th, come join the club of people sick of watching false prophets fake their Christianity to gain your trust. They look the part, I'll give you that, but it's a mask. And we've now watched these men push this same nonsense story every few years. And no, NASA said nothing scary for Earth about it. That part, they just blatantly made up. Up next, we're in South Africa where a tornado came through this weekend. Residents still reeling and remembering that bad one they had last month. Up next, RSOE notes a cold wave in India. Places where normally blankets aren't needed are approaching the freezing mark at night and the government is scrambling to get blankets out to them. What's amazing is that the pull of cold air southward comes on the western edge of the cyclone battering the eastern part of the subcontinent now. The storm actually has hit category 3 at its peak and will linger for at least two days wringing out all the rain he brought with him. We had a record listening audience for the latest episode of Fly on the Wall. Maybe it was the details of how to predict California earthquakes at the Mendocino Junction, or it was the GMO report, or the presence of ADAPT 2030. Whatever it is, good showing and great responses. Right now, we've got your pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.